got done eating with some village people. We're on a ferry headed back to Surabaya. We were on Madura. And look at this, I got a Rojak cellar. We got our car on here. Oh, and it's bright. Look at all the boats in the water here. Big port, very uh, international port as well. I think that's why when you're in Surabaya and you go walking around the town and you see all the influence from whether it be like, I'm gonna say Chinese, I know it's an overgeneralization, but you see Chinese, you see the Madura people, you see all types of influence, not just people that were maybe the first inhabitants of Java. Customs. <laughs> Traveling with them. Love pictures. Oh wow. Satu. Yeah. Ini. Yeah. Okay, let's try. Oh, we haven't had the water. We haven't had the watermelon yet. You want watermelon? Okay. Something? Yeah, I want to try watermelon because I haven't had it yet. Oh, no rojak sauce. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. Mm. Feels like summertime, watermelon. Nostalgic for me, just needs a little salt. But I have. <laughs> video me, I video you. Same, same. <laughs> oh, I love watermelon. It's just nostalgic. Not the best fruit. Hey, what's Mats, name? What's your Mac, name? Oh, it's wet with watermelon. Sorry. Where do you come from? America. Yeah, America. Where do you come from? Thank you. Indonesia. Indonesia. Uh, where do you live? Surabaya? Yes. Oh, very nice. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The name of the ship is actually KM Tongkol, yeah? Yeah. Ship. Skipjack. 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 The name Tongkol. of the ship. Tongkol. Tongkol. Salve dulu, boss. Yes. Okay, terima kasih. Ah, sami sami. Maybe he's from Surabaya. Where are you no, from? Maduris. Maduris. Ah. I can tell. He's 100% Maduris. <laughs> Run! Run! Ah. I found everybody. But we're going somewhere even more special. Yes. Okay. Oh, I follow you. Okay. If you break the rules, I'm blaming it on you. <laughs> no, no, no. I get some. I say I just followed Sun Sun. Ah! Oh, I hit my head again. <sighs> Guys, look, we got special privilege. We get the. Oh my gosh! I feel like I'm walking on the roof of a house, but I'm on a boat. Oh, and it gets windy. So windy. Look, I did it. The true captain. I'm like the mermaid on the front of the boat, except not as sexy. I'm beautiful. Oh, look at it. Almost a Surabaya. I see. We meet again, Java, to the hotel. Hotel Majapahit, one of the most pristine. Hello, how are you? Hi. Hotels in Surabaya, five stars as you saw while we're walking in. Don't look at me, check it out. Nothing makes me feel more classy than my black bag and my nasty tennis shoes. But, 
<laughs> Don't judge a book by its cover. Look at how classical it looks. Nice all. You almost kind of think it'd be a heritage hotel. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Look at this courtyard. Gorgeous. And uh, I have employee of the month, Ari, Mass Ari, taking me to my room right now. Sudirawo, the Majapahit Surabaya, but I think I got lost. You have to go back. Okay, no problem. Look at this, waterfall. Wait. It's not a waterfall, fountain. Fountains are what I'm going for. Oh, uh, sorry. In and then go. Sorry, he's a bad employee. You have to be more me. <laughs> Look at this. I kind of feel like I'm like way back in history. And it's... This is the original owner, Lucas oh. Sarkis. He's, I think, Romanian, Dutch. And this is Bali Adika, the uh, ballroom. It's going to have wedding parties and movies. You can see the terrace of Canada. Very Dutch style, look at the look at the Dutch influence though. I mean, look at the tinted glass. Article. Got the tinted glass, the big open. This looks a lot like the train station in Simarang, similar style, which used to be office for all the Dutch and everybody. You know, can play by themselves. <laughs> play. Oh, <laughs> I guess I should mention all oh, this. This hotel is kind of famous for being haunted as well. Ghost. Look at this courtyard. I can't get over this. It's, I did not expect this when you're looking at the front of the hotel to just have this bright white color with these viney draping massive trees. The, the pop from colors on the plant. Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked, we're to the room. I think it's 32. Yeah, 32. That doesn't make any sense. It's gotta be this way, isn't it? Yeah, it's gonna even. And this is harder than the last hotel I was in where I like went in the wrong elevator. What if this was it? No, no, no. <laughs> oh, it's the presidential suite. Yeah. Not me. They didn't have that option on my credit card one. Why didn't I have the presidential suite option? Man, they didn't give me that option. You gotta, probably got to be special to have access to that one. 32. One hour later. And properly named Java Room. Java. Your room is Java room. You're traveling all over Java. Oh wow. My last Oh, kind of small. Wow. It looks like furniture my grandma would have. <laughs> but so nice, the space. It smells like an old building too. It is an old building. Just said bye to Ari and Samsan, so now we can get through here and really evaluate. First thing I noticed, Snacks. I'm really not hungry, but we kind of got to try them. It really does kind of feel like... <laughs> I really appreciate the, the attention to keeping what it was. So, Majapahit actually was a kingdom in Indonesia. A Hindu kingdom, I do believe. I mean, a long time ago, it had a huge influence on Indonesia. And its main colors were red and white which may sound familiar if you know the flag of Indonesia. But let's talk about simpler things like macaroons. We got a red cherry and white chocolate, orange macaroon, chocolate, surya, majapahit. So I guess this is like a symbol for them. Ooh. I'm just gonna do the macaroon right now. A little lopsided. What y'all think? Not bad. A little dense, a little close textured. Ooh. Vanilla cream and a strong essence of orange. I really just, I don't know, man. Like, ah, it just reminds me of kind of like your grandma's house, which is not great. When it's supposed to be haunted, like old stuff like this. I, of course I paid for the money. So this was $164, but just look at the real estate it gets you. I mean, I even got a balcony. So 
I got ooh shiny syndrome and there's too much going on here. So water boiler also looks like they haven't changed this one out in a while either. <laughs> um, Lipton basic tees and stuff. Old cabinet, look at this old cabinet. That is pretty cool. Look at the detail, you just don't. Yeah, you probably do get detail like this nowadays, but you sound like the old man is griping where I'm like, you just don't get detail like this anymore. Fridge, empty. I have to run to my favorite convenience store ever, Indomart with a point in it. It's gonna have the point coffee. Um, you know, it is so much space. I love this, I do really love this painting though. Pretty cool painting. I mean, I know it's just of a rose, but I enjoy simple art like that. I, I like all the classical, everything. It just like, it feels kind of empty. And I think it's just cause this is so dark. You can't see in here at all, but there's bases and things in here. Let's check up a little, not really balcony, terrace. <laughs> okay, I feel safe. But not for my neighbor. Oh, maybe I should. Okay, it does not open. Come in here, drink coffee or whatever, sit in the morning. Be real nice. Somebody's banging some music though. Got like a club not too far away. To the bedroom though. I think this is, I think the living room's good. The bedroom's where it gets better. And the bathroom is why you spend the money here. I dig this. I mean, I think it looks really good with the headboard. <laughs> Again, it's some things that are a little old timey that I don't care for, like the carpet. Very old building and like, you do have mold and stuff on the wall. Old, old building in tropical climate. I mean, not much you can do. So that's just something you have to prepare for if you come here, it is a little bit moldy. But I think the space and the concept's cool. More cupboards than you would ever need in your life. These are just like my grandmother's cupboards. Cabinet, what is this called? Not sure really. Full body mirror. I mean, I guess this is where the woman would like do her makeup in the morning. She has all these drawers to keep her stuff. And she'd sit down and look at it right here. Ow! <coughs> As she did her makeup in the morning. Detail. Pretty good. This is one of the best beds I've had in a long time. Oh, honestly, yes. This is not like laying on a cloud. I'm not gonna be that person, but it's like between firm and a cloud. If you like a firm, soft cloud, wait, no, if you like a firm cloud, this is the bed for you. Mm. Plant, flower. I guess what I like is, cause it's got like this Dutch influence, it's like, ancient Dutch influence. And so I think of all the maybe like the researchers coming in here and just being blown away by the, the rainforest, all the flowers and the colors and the food and the culture when they come here. And so they're like, this was like their data. I don't know why I like these pictures so much. What is this? Oh, it's my light. It's light for my bathroom. Why is it? Makes me feel Tom, like Thomas Edison invented that or something the way it looks. And does anybody know what this is? Is this for like, I guess it's like keep your keys and stuff. I mean, it's not like, I don't know. Not like they're gonna put their car keys here. Hang clothes maybe? I, I feel like this is definitely to hang a shirt. Pants here, maybe keep your keys and stuff. So you keep your outfit and you just could pull it all out. It's all right here, ready to go in the morning. Now the best part. I think this is what you spend the money on y'all. What do y'all think? Wow. 
The tiling is beautiful. It's not black. You may, it probably looks black on the camera, but it's actually this like emerald. Well, that's actually probably more like a jade. Green. It's got like a little hint of blue in it. It's a cooling effect. The, let's just walk into the shower first. The gold, the see-through. And it's huge. It's a good arm length away. That was pretty, like I'm about to break it. It's kind of like rusting and nasty. Citrusy, lemony, fresh. <laughs> this is actually, <laughs> maybe I'll just show you how old of a house I used to live in. This, I used to have to turn my water on when I was a kid and we had handles or turn knobs just like that. Mm, this is the best part by far. Look at this tub. We gonna get it in tonight. We are getting in that tonight. Look at the detail. The railing going around it on the side. Bath salt. Ooh. Mmm. So clutch. So many places will give you a bath, but they won't give you the bath salt. I'm sure you could call an ass though. I just don't do that. Look at the amenities here. You even get a nail file. What's an emery board? It's like a nail file, right? Yeah, it's for your nails. Like, yeah, that. A sewing kit? Who sews anymore? Just look at this. Same. Baby lotion? I mean, look at the amount of baby lotion they give you here. Again, who needs that much? Wait. Body lotion, okay, body lotion, sorry. Who needs that much body lotion? Ear cleaners, cotton swabs. More of my favorite pictures. And then the throne. The throne to, to I don't know. This is clearly the one ancient thing they didn't keep, which is nice. I don't know what model or brand this is. Got the bum gun ready to go inside. A little disappointing, y'all. Little disappointing. Look at that. It's almost see through. Can you see my finger? It's like a two and a half. Huh. I need to work out a little bit. Had my long run today, which I'll talk more about that later. Uh, gonna clean up just a little, not clean up, just change clothes a little bit, get ready. Uh, go to the gym, check it out, get a little workout in. I need to wake up. Anyways, so we will see you at the gym. One more thing before we head to the gym. Just one so download 13.81, upload 13.0. That's that's pretty good. I mean, that's what you want when you pay for something like this. And then in-room dining. Really, oops. I mean, yeah, 185 burgers, about 100, 100 rupia. 100, looks like most things are about 100 rupia. So, I don't think that's bad. They do have like a very famous Chinese restaurant in the hotel, but it's not open right now. And then one more thing you want to watch out for is just that. <laughs> and it's like rotted out completely. So this one luckily works. That one's bad. Okay, to the gym. Pignet. We're going to eat pignet. Uh, I've never had it actually in Indonesia, but I've been craving ayam geprek, one of my favorite dishes in Indonesia. So that's why we came here. But he went in the wrong. The wrong restaurant. Where are you going? <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. He <laughs> told me you were going here, then you walked in here. And I'm like clueless. <laughs> he told me you were going to Bukris, and then he walked in this. <laughs> Other place, I was like, Where are you going? Why is it so empty? Mm -hmm. 
So apparently pinyet, very similar to geprek, but it's not just the ayam chicken. You can get many different types. I think every types of topping with it. And here you get to pick your spiciness level. It's really popular as well. All right, y'all, really splurging for our last meal. And <laughs> so to buy it. <laughs> this, got the lime drink. You ordered me ju that. just some of. <laughs> <laughs> So you put it here. This is super bad. This is super bad. Yeah. Uh, so you like put any and then just put it. Oh. So like. I am Gebrek, they would have the chicken, they would make the sambal, they'd have the chicken, kind of pound it, put the sambal on top. It's got all the sambal at the bottom. Oh yeah, alright. Mm -hmm. Hot? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at that. Looks like... Looks like seitan. Seitan, yeah. I'm going to Oh, it's going to be hot. Mm -hmm. I'm hot. Oh, man. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I find it very good. It's a mark. I'm not sure. 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 I'm not Mm. Yeah. I would like to try the first bite. Go for it. Go. Big bite. Big bite, big bite, big bite. That's a big bite. Oh wow. Ah. Not bad. More spicy. It will build. <laughs> Actually, with the eggplant, maybe my favorite. Yes, the eggplant. Mm. But it's all delicious. I find that, yes, it is heavy on the heat, but it's an addicting heat. There's enough saltiness, a little bit of funkiness to it, just enough flavor to keep you wanting to go back. Not so much heat that just kills you. I love milk fish, man. It's so juicy. Mm, good flavor. The heat's starting to come. The face has turned red. I just hope later tonight I remember to take my contacts out with my left hand. Ooh, that one looks good. It's tiny, but pick a punch. Very tasty. Time for like a childhood bite here. You get rice. Definitely want to get some egg with it. Get the sambal on there. It's like my childhood. Mm. All right. How red's my face? <laughs> Pretty red. <laughs> yeah, see. Ah, oh, it's so good. Broke the sweat. <laughs> Makes you cry a little bit. I just wanted see. something extremely, extremely ah, spicy. Oh my gosh, that was delicious. I don't know how to explain to people. Like, sometimes I just want super spicy, turn my face red, sweat, cry. I just sometimes crave spice like that. But tonight's about done. Just got. One more thing I want to do because I want to relax and have a good old night's sleep. <laughs>